Okay, we open up with Malachi. Now Malachi is the last book of the Old Testament. And of 55 verses, God speaks, is the speaker, 47 of them. Like Nahum and Habakkuk, this book is called a book of burden, a load. Malachi is presented with Judah's sins largely by quoting their own words, repeating their own thoughts, describing their own attitudes, and the failure of the priests. So what Malachi does is, especially God speaking, what they do wrong, God throws it right back in his face. I think Malachi would picture the judgment. Or the judgment seat of Christ, or definitely the great white throne judgment. That... Whatever the lost man said, whatever the lost man thought, whatever the lost man did, there it is. The books are open. Oh God, I never said it. <laughs> open the books. Oh God, I never did open the books. Imagine a, 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 a false... Wolf in sheep's clothing. The worst sin that I, I say is, is to deceive people thinking they're saved by saying this prayer, walk this altar. You imagine God playing that out for them. How their messages lack the gospel. You imagine these churches today in the last to see in church age. God will name what they said, what they didn't say, what they did, what they didn't do, what they thought. And then when God sent somebody into their church to tell them the truth, I know a preacher, I try to correct, help his church with, with the perversion of the modern, and I gave him information about the King James Bible. That's just garbage. That's going to play out if you don't repent. And God's going to quote exactly what you said. Because God's never a liar. So the burden, there it is, it's a heavy, it's a load. The word of the Lord to Israel, by am out of time. Uh, what, what, what was that again? What was that? Excuse me. What was that? Who? Because that's very important. Before we close the book of Malachi. Who? I think we're going to come back to verse one, verse, uh, chapter one, verse one. To who? That's important later on. Israel. Jesus Christ hasn't even been born yet. He hasn't suffered. He hasn't died. He wasn't buried. He wasn't risen from the grave. He hasn't ascended up to heaven. Acts hasn't even happened yet. I have loved you. That's tense. Now God loves the nation of Israel. They are his people, but it's like a parent with a child. I, I, I love you, but right now you're not in good standing. I haven't given you up. It's just... You're a bad child right now, and save the Lord. That's Jehovah. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Look, look at him. Where, where, where did you love us? Are you living, breathing? Do you have blessings? Do you have any mercy? 
Are you not the apple of God's eye? Did not God send the, the prophets? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Yes, he was, saith the Lord. Yet I love Jacob. Okay. Jacob was a mess. God says, I love him. Moses was a murderer. I'll use you. All right. Let me give you something. God hates the sin and loves the sinner. I love Jacob and I hated Esau. What are you going to do with that scripture that shows up on Facebook? What are you going to do with that saying? When somebody said, and I've heard of people come to me, oh, God hates sin and loves the sinner. What are you going to do with that? All have sin come short of the glory of God. Esau was a sinner. God says, I hate him. Nation of Israel. Now, I have loved you. You know what God told Jeremiah at one point about Judah? Don't even pray for him. I forget. There's a new one going on Facebook right now. I've seen it many times so far. I forget what it was. They come up with the a preacher gets up there and he says this great thing and he just passes around. How about the scripture? Oh, I know what it is. If God closes the door, pray from the hallway. How about just pray without season? We, we use the scripture. Psalm 711. Look at Psalm 711. Now I'm gonna, I am going to combat the stupidity of Christianity. And we just get these things a little sewing. We put it up on the, on the wall. We put it on the bumper sticker. We put it on Facebook. Oh! God judges the righteous. God is angry with the wicked every day. And then he turns around and says about Esau, Esau's gone so far, I hate Esau. You know what God said about Adolf Hitler hating Israel? Killing Jews? I hate you. There's a point where God gives somebody the way of salvation. Whatever period they're in. And then when they reject, and they reject, and they reject, Esau, his total rejection of you, and we're not going to do the scripture, but if you were to look at the scripture of Esau, his total sin is that firstborn right given by God of a father and the firstborn son. The Bible says he despised it. So what, he, what he's doing, he's telling God, nothing better than than a bowl of beans and bread. The cross of Jesus, the suffering of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus. Ah, you know, when you when, when you hear the gospel and you reject, you are hated by God for your rejection of Jesus Christ. And the only reason why you're still living, the only reason why God's still going to give you a chance, is God's long suffering. You're not on God's good side. If you were to take your child, that child give up their life for a human being. Let's say, let's say your child goes out into battlefield and he's out there and he lands on a landmine to save four or five of the troops. And those four or five troops come back, and the father said, 
What about my son? I don't care about your son. He deserved it. We're the ones that's living now. Put my son land on a landmine for you guys. Yes, oh, who cares? <laughs> Those soldiers are not going to be in good, good, good eyes of the father, that child. I hated Esau, laid his mountains, Edom, and his heritage waits for dragons that would be blizzards. And those, those, those class of animals of the wilderness. America's heading that way. England turned her back on, on Israel, guys, in Belfort Decoration. She hasn't been a, a, a proper nation since. Whereas Edom said, Esau is Edom and Edom is Esau, we are emperors. We are made in poverty. Well, you could have had that riches of the firstborn. It was all there for you. Esau, Edom could have had the promised land. Instead of saying God loves the Jew, the Jewish people are God's people, we would be saying that about Esau. If he didn't sell his birthright. So as a result, we're made poverty. Well, you ain't going to get the blessing of firstborn. That's Jacob's now. But we will return and build the desolate places. That's what America's doing. America's in the judgment of God. We'll go back and get things right. We'll go. We'll, we'll. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build. But I will throw down. They shall call them. The border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord has indignation forever. See, America can keep on, can keep on going. We'll build. We'll get better. We'll put... And your stock market's fall, and your prices are, are going high, and, and you've got an enemy in your in your camp right now. The immigrants, you got an enemy in the camp of your own citizens. You got an enemy in the camp. The Democrats fighting the Republicans. The Republicans fighting the Democrats. You got an enemy in the camp. The homeless people. You got an enemy in the camp. Uh, this this uh, uh, after whatever you call them are. America doesn't even know that she, she, she's being devoured and decayed within her own gates. And the generals in charge are the people of Capitol Hill, your Republicans and Democrats. President Biden has stated, all right, this epidemic of COVID-19 is all finished, all done. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wasn't just last month you and your wife were in put into a, a, a word. isolation because both of you had COVID? One of the royals goes to the, to the funeral of Queen uh, Elizabeth II and she walks, she got COVID? There are patients in the hospital, there are patients in assisted living, there are patients in, 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 in nursing homes, if I can say that word, and they're diagnosed with COVID. Oh, but the big business here has the money, has the money, has the money, has the money. Oh, you know who our God is, our God is Johnson and Johnson and the shot, oh, the shot. Oh, the mighty shot. And we don't know what that shot's going to do to you. You see, America walks up to the barn and removes the barn doors and burns them. And then all oh, everything breaks loose. <laughs> I 
I just read about my home state today. I'm trying to do something. That my home state of Connecticut is under code three or stage three uh, uh, drought. What do you guys say to that? Well, you you said, hey, they said no abortion. Come to Connecticut. We'll give you abortion. No sodomite marriages on it? Come to Connecticut. We'll give you sodomite marriages. Come to Connecticut and live like live like hell. We'll support you. Okay. And now you're running out of water. Nevada is running out of water. California is running out of everything. And we're and we're still wasting money, shooting money, rockets in outer space, and all that. We're gonna find water on Mars. Uh, Connecticut needs water. Las Vegas needs water. California needs water. Mississippi needs water. You're not gonna have a pipeline water from Mars to, to the Earth. We got tons and tons and tons tons of homeless people, whatever reason, we got tons of, some of them are, are U.S. military vets. Why are we not taking that money and using it for them? I did a study the other day about the poor. Like I said, you got to rightly divide the poor, whether they're really, really poor or they're not poor. If you got really, really poor people that are, are beyond their means in America and you are wasting money into outer space. If you're wasting money to, to bus immigrants to Chicago and to Martha's Vineyard because you think it's a big joke. Oh, we'll give free needles to the druggies of California, but never mind all the people are diabetics because of the filth you put in the food. You're not offering free insulin. And what I'm telling you, the burden is of America, the burden of Esau is, and the burden of all the nations is, God is writing this down. And the only eraser is, is the blood of Jesus Christ. And if you got God indignation against you as an individual or you as a people, you as a corporation, you as a business, you as a country, if, if God has indignation against you and God is angry with you because you're wickedness, or even God will go far to say, is, I hate you, build all you want. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon were one of the five wonders of the world. Where are they today? That colossal in Alexandria, Egypt, that, that, that colossal lighthouse statue man is one of the five wonders of the world. Where is it today? Where are the five wonders of the world today? Look it up. Where are they? Where is the great Rome with their gods and, and their uh, uh, togas and their false gods and their parties? I'm trying to think of another word I can't think of. Their wild sexual parties. Where are they? I heard a comedian today say, you know, well, the Spaniards came over here and all that with Christopher Columbus. They grabbed all this gold. They killed all these people with the gold and all that gold they stole and all that. He goes, where, where, where's the gold? And he, he visits Spain and all. He says, you know, that city don't look like anything. I'll tell you where the gold is. It's in Pope Sands. It's in the city of the Pope. That's where the gold is. Of all the nations, of all the people, the worst wicked people were ever had to answer before God is all the Pope. I feel sorry for the popes. I feel sorry for the priests. I feel sorry for the nuns that don't get saved. What do you mean? 
Can you imagine all the masses of Catholics are in hell and will go to hell, will end up in the lake of fire one day with their priests, with their nuns, with their popes? Imagine hearing your bow, oh, I'm burning all agony. Shut up! We're in here because of you, victor of Christ. You holy baloney fool! You damn my family here! Man, I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to be in hell. How about the Baptists? You told me to walk the altar and you told me to say this prayer. And we're both in hell. I'm telling you. That would be hell. Edom hated his brother Jacob, planned to kill his brother Jacob. The Bible says in Genesis that now Esau, beyond all facts of Esau, Esau sold his birthright. No matter what, the, he come in, he goes, I'm going to die of food or not. Jacob said, well, sell me your birthright. My thing is, there was no crackers. There was no food in that house to carry you over. You ever done that? I'll tell you when, when, when the American does that. He goes grocery shopping, comes home that night, he can't find nothing to eat. There's nothing in this house to eat. We just filled the house with groceries. Yeah, but well, we didn't get what I wanted. That's what happened with me. At that point in time, Esau went about like, oh, no, no, no. Jacob. Well, no, Rebecca stole the blessing for Jacob. Rebecca deceived her husband. Jacob should have said something. He didn't. But rightfully and, cor and correctly, that, that blessing was his. For a pot of beans. And then when, when, when Isaac blesses Jacob, and he gets the right of the firstborn, I say rightfully, because it was sold. Jacob, in his heart, says, I'm going to kill Jacob. And the Bible says that it was told Rebekah. How did Rebekah find out? Because God knew what Esau said. God knew what was in Esau's heart. God told Rebekah, you better get that boy out of here. No, son, why don't you go to my brother's house and come back in a few days? He comes back, I think it's 20 years? 30 years, was it? And we've already read about Esau. One of the whole prophets writes an entire book about Esau. When, when Babylon comes in and, and Judah runs around, runs off and flees and all that, Esau grabs him and gives him to the Babylonian army. And then Esau goes over to Jerusalem and hey, this is our, this is my land, this is your land. Can you imagine what God felt, feels about Adolf Hitler? And all that he done to the, to the Jews in the name of the Roman Catholic Church. Christian, don't you dare get that armor that has the cross on it and all that. That was the crusaders of the Catholic Church that went into Jerusalem's killing to gain the land of Jerusalem for the Pope. That is not Christian at all. Your eyes shall see. Ye shall say. This is Esau. The enemy of God, the enemy of Israel. The Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel. That's the millennium. So the very first thing Malachi closes the book with, and we're going to get into the sins of Judah and Israel, God says, I'm going to slam Esau. And 
And God uses it. Israel says, wherein have thou loved us? You see what I did with your brother? Do I treat you like your brother? Well, you know, we, we get all these armies that came in and all these things. You deserved it. I warned you. God didn't send no prophets in Esau. 